So you're looking to move to Philadelphia without a vehicle and you're wondering, how am I gonna get around town? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a handful of different options that'll hopefully leave you knowing that you don't need a car to live in the city. This is Navita Abrick with Navigator Realty Group. Let's get after it. First time to this channel go ahead and subscribe hit the bell so you get notifications anytime i post a new video if there's anything that you want to know about the philadelphia area the philadelphia housing market any questions whatsoever shoot me a text give me a call or an email and i'll get back to you all right let's dive in all right here's just a little overview of the map of philadelphia philadelphia is a big old place but it also includes a lot of places around it Center City, Philadelphia is the downtown area, but there's all sorts of parts around Philadelphia that are still part of Philadelphia, Philadelphia County, um, but just spread out. West Philadelphia, we're gonna dive deeper into these things, so don't worry about it. Southwest Philadelphia, down by the airport. So all of this is Philadelphia, but when you're talking about the city of Philadelphia, people are uh, referencing Center City. This is this is the city of Philadelphia, inside Philadelphia. To get around Philadelphia, it's not going to be like your New York. It's not going to be like your DC. We don't have these crazy underground uh, train systems, uh, but we do have two trains. We got a subway. We call it the subway. That's the Broad Street Line. I'm going to show you that one, and we've got the Market Frankfurt Line. Only two of them. One runs north south, and one runs east west. If we get into here, I'll show you all the way from, it's even hard, farther than that, but I can only draw so far. But all the way from north to south, you got the Broad Street Line, and then somewhere around here, east to west, west to east, the way that I'm drawing it, then it goes up and it ends up over here. Um, you got the Market Frankfurt Line. So, 69th Street Transportation Center, Frankfurt Transportation Center, up top you got the Fern Rock uh, Transportation Center. Whoops, lots of draw on there. And then we got the NRG Center down there. I'm going to zoom in all these places. We're going to take a peek at all of them. But I just wanted you to get the general idea that in terms of underground transportation, north, south, east, west, that's the way things are going here. So um, besides the Market Frankfurt Line and the Broad Street Line, you've got trolleys, you've got buses. Um, I don't want to tell you that all of our systems are fantastic, but they do a pretty good job. There's actually this initiative I'm gonna show you real quick that they're trying to get the bus schedules um, better in line with everything. So if you wanna to go to septabusrevolution.com, it is a three-year project started in 2021. It'll tell you everything that they're working on with regards to uh, the bus station. But let's go to our map again. Um, one quick thing I wanna tell you about the trains. The Broad Street Line is actually a subway. It runs underground um, north to south. One of the cool things about where it ends up, if you don't know Philadelphia yet, down here at the NRG station, that is our sports complex. Um, we got our hockey and basketball, our football, and our baseball all within one complex. Citizens Bank Park, Lincoln Financial Field, Wells Fargo Center. That's also where they got um, concerts and all that jazz. So, and then Xfinity Live. Nobody uh, can visit this area without going to Xfinity Live. It's basically a bunch of bars and restaurants under one roof, a bunch of big screen TVs. They've got indoor and outdoor. So, really cool uh, way to spend your game days. So, anyways, yeah, that's the really cool thing about the end of the line down here in uh, South Philadelphia. But it runs underground, um, true underground subway. When you talk about the Market Frankfurt Line, um, it is not an underground line. It is called the L for short. Uh, the L means elevated train. It is underground in parts, but it does come out at parts. So while it's traveling through the city, um, I say the city, but I mean the downtown Philadelphia area, center city, it goes underground. And when it pops up around like Spring Garden, um, it becomes the elevated train again. It's actually really cool to see. Um, and then again in West Philadelphia, it's underground until it pops out somewhere around, I don't know, 50th Street, somewhere around here, and then it's elevated again. 
So that's our train system. The really cool thing about the trains is you pay once and you can transfer at a couple different places. Uh, one of those places being the 15th Street Station. That's where um, Broad Street Line meets Broad Street Line meets the Market Frankfurt Line. So there's an underground transfer there. Uh, besides the Broad Street Line and the Market Frankfurt Line, there are trolleys. There are green trolleys, and those come all the way to the Broad Street Station as well. Um, there are multiple different lines of the green trolley, but that doesn't really matter until they pop out in West Philadelphia. I'm going to go over there and show you real quick. So if you're coming from Center City and you're trying to get into the West Philadelphia area, you will come out this way. This is where um, a lot of Penn's campus is sprinkled throughout here. Drexel campus is sprinkled up here too. But um, down here, this is the medical area. You got Penn Medicine, Hospital University of Pennsylvania. You've got CHOP, that's the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Um, you've got research centers um, located down here too. But this is a, a popular place for people to, to hop off um, and start their day. But as you come out from the trolley station, the green trolleys that went underground, uh, you do pop up at 41st Street. There's a transportation center right around here. And there you go. There's the turnaround. Look at me again. Check this out. Drawing things. There's the turnaround. Um, from there, you've got the different trolley lines that make their way in different directions. So you got one that goes down that way, one that goes down this way, and then the one that goes down Baltimore Ave. So everything is very accessible getting into and out of Center City, Philadelphia. Um, again, these go, you can see all of these guys that are little blue, blue stations. Those are places that you can get on and off the trolley. It's basically any intersection. They'll stop for you as long as you're hanging out. So yeah, there you go with our uh, train system. Besides those trains, well, let's take you over real quick and show you um, where the elevated train ends up. This way. Uh, we got all the way along Kensington Avenue. You go all the way up to Frankfurt Transportation Center, which is all the way up here. So everything you see with a little M is a station. M, 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 M. So there's the Market Frankfurt line. And when you go north on the Broad Street line, uh, you have all these stops along the way too. You pass by Temple University, Temple University Hospital, Einstein Medical Center, um, and there's your transportation center right up here. So north, south, east, west, sure. Not everybody's going just along Broad Street, along Market, along the other routes. So uh, what else do we have? We have those buses. When I talk to you about those buses, um, they basically do the same thing as well. They go north, south, east, west, but um, sometimes you might have to get onto two different buses to get to where you want to go. But let's just randomly put in, we want to get directions, transit directions from somewhere in the middle of South Philly to somewhere up here. Check this out. So there's a bus, it goes straight that way. There's three different bus lines that you can actually see. So it depends on if you want just one bus or if you're going to make a transfer, but that exists. It's the same thing when you're looking at uh, going east to west. It's not on every block, obviously, but um, if you're trying to get from one place to another, there's going to be, there's going to be a bus that's going to get you there. Um, so you might have to walk to a corner or something like that, but it'll get you there. So when you combine the power of all of these things together, it is pretty much a, a nice robust system. So um, I'm talking, let's say you work at Temple University Hospital and you need to get to work. We're gonna delete this destination. We'll keep our same uh, origin and then we'll hop up here to Temple University. What's the best way to do it? You could just take the bus and walk. You could take the bus to the Broad Street line and walk a little bit more but your options are there. Um, and if you've seen these times popping up on the side, like 45 minutes to get to a lot of different places in the city. So yeah, you live a life without a car, but um, 
What about those days where you need to go to the grocery store or maybe you're taking a ride into New Jersey or you're going down to Ikea and you've got to pick something up? Um, obviously, ride shares, Uber, Lyft, um, those operate here. But there's also Zipcar. I'm going to show you this map of Zipcar locations throughout Philadelphia. Same map we're looking at in Google, but look at all these zip cars just parked all over the city. Um, so you can get yourself a zip car. What if you're not needing a car to go somewhere, um, but you still want to travel around the city? Maybe it's a nice fall day uh, and you're looking to get out in public and, and get from point A to point B and have a good time doing it. We've got the city bike shares. Indigo is our bike share option in the Philadelphia area and they're everywhere too. You can see where the stations are full. You got seven bikes, 11 docks. Um, so you can see where to go to pick up a bike, where to drop them off. These things are super cool because um, you can have a monthly pass and ride as much as you want or you just pay by the 30 minute time period I think it is. Um, so your options are there. You're not going to be stuck in Philadelphia if you don't have a vehicle. Um, in terms of ridership, it has been a little bit down um, just because of COVID and then trying to recover from all that, but they are working on turning that around. They're cleaning up the trains, they're cleaning up all the platforms. Um, so people are starting to ride again because they are starting to go back to work more and more. Um, so it's really cool. For the SEPTA, um, they do accept cash, but you used to go and you would just buy your fare, but now they've got the SEPTA key card, so you go buy the SEPTA key card and you can load that up. Um, you can get a monthly pass, you can get a weekly pass, I think it's like 100 bucks for a month, 25 bucks for a week, or you're just paying by the ride and it's a couple bucks per ride. Um, so really, again, we're not New York, we're not DC, we are also a much smaller city, like it's a couple miles from this river, the Schuylkill River, to the Delaware River, and you can run that in 20 minutes or less, depends on how fast you're running. Um, so it's not a very big city, but um, we have ways to get around. It is not a, not a bad system, it's just not the best system. So again, if you're looking to move to Philadelphia and you don't have a vehicle, you're gonna be just fine. Uh, if you want to know more about Philadelphia, I'm going to be doing map videos like this, but I'm also doing walking tours. So please like this, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so that way every time I post something new, uh, you're going to be the first one to know about it. This has been a map tour with Naveed of Navigator Realty Group. Signing out. <laughs>